This video talks about the tangent line problem, which is also an introduction to calculus. Prior to calculus, we were able to find slopes of straight lines. You take the graph, um, you can delta, delta y over delta x, um, there's different methods you can use to find the slope of that. But what if you had something more along the lines of, say that. Well, the slope is changing. Right here, it's almost flat. Versus up here, it's almost vertical. So, how do you, how do you find the slope to something like that? Well, that's where calculus comes in. Calculus is essentially the mathematics of change. So, in order to talk about that, we'll start out with the tangent line problem. Let's say you have a point, we'll call this point P. And you want to know where the, excuse me, what the slope is. So let's, let's pick a point over here. Call it Q. It's point Q. If we draw a line, draw a straight line from P to Q, this line is, uh, it's, it's approximately the, we could, we could approximate the slope of um, P. So let's, but, but let's say we take Q and we move it a little closer. Let's say we move it down to here. Let's draw a new line. For sake of argument, we'll pretend it's a straight line. So that, that line, the slope of that second line we drew, is a little bit closer to the actual slope of P. You see here, P is fairly flat. From P to Q is fairly steep. But if we move Q down here, it gets a little bit less steep, so it's a little closer to P. So let's move it a little bit closer, move it down here. Draw another line. Now this line is even closer to the actual slope of P. And as we move it, as we move Q closer and closer to P, we get closer and closer to the actual value of P. All these lines that I've been drawing these approximations are called secant lines. Uh, we'll call these. Approximations. Now, as, as we said before, as Q gets closer and closer to P, the secant lines get more and more accurate. Until finally, when Q actually gets to P, finally Q is going to get to P, and we're going to come up with a line right here that shows you the actual slope at P. Now, this um, point right here, this point P, and the slope right here, this is the point where Q has gotten all the way to P and it's gotten more and more accurate till it actually shows the slope of P. This here is called the tangent line. So we'll say the tangent line is the oops, dying, is the line that shows slope of P. Just 
assuming these are point. Now this line, you can tell it's the tangent line because it does not cross over the line twice right here. If it had crossed over and touched even one more point right here, it would not be the tangent line, it would be a secant line. However, since it is only touching P at this, in this area, it shows you the tangent line of P. Now, once you have the tangent line, if you find the slope of the tangent line, this is called a limit. So our limit the slope of the tangent line. So we have our three main terms, secant line. These are our approximations from P to Q as Q gets closer and closer to P. Our tangent line, which is when Q, this point over here, Q, eventually gets to P and actually gives you um, a line that represents the slope. If you calculate the slope of the tangent line, you'll get the limit, which is also the slope at P.